Hi guys, Rune here, and today we're going to be doing a little bit of an impromptu uh, Q&A type video. Um, what the lock you see before you today is going to be the base for my final uh, belt challenge lock. If you don't know, uh, for each belt I make a special challenge lock. These are the ones that I put like extra amount of effort into and try to make them probably as difficult as I can for that belt level. So for example, at my brown belt, I try to make a brown belt level challenge lock, red belt, try to make a red belt level challenge lock. And, and so it's, it's not necessary to get to the actual requirements of black belt, but this is my own personal th uh, requirement that I do for myself. So <clears throat> this is a Gera and uh, here is what the key looks like. This is the one I've chosen. And what makes this one unique is it has a magnetic element. You can see there's a little magnet embedded in the pin. And so here is our cylinder. You can see that little lovely keyway we got going on right there. Um, and then these two holes right here are for anti-drill. So for pins that are inside the chamber we got um, steel pins for the key pins except for number four number four is a brass pin that has a magnet embedded inside of it that's the magnetic element of this lock and then you can see on two and five we got these kind of barbell looking or dumbbell looking uh, spools and then the springs we have springs on all the chambers except for four and that's because this is intended to be picked euro style and so the key will pull this this key pin out of the chamber so it'll sit down low in the bible and it'll pull it out into the plug so you can rotate um, here are our anti drill pins And then we got the Bible here. You'll notice there's a little bit of a drill mark here. That's because the clip that's on here, this clip right here, is um, crimped on. And so to get it gutted, you have to basically turn it into a C-clip. So you can see there's a little bit of little bit destructive to gut it, but nothing too terrible so that's kind of the overview of the lock so just wanted to kind of bounce a couple of ideas off of you guys um, so obviously I want this lock to be the hardest one that I've done to date and this is like I said this will probably be the last one that I put an enormous amount of effort into unless something else comes up where I feel motivated to to do something like that so first requirement is I want it to be picked Euro style. I want to find a way to force them to pick Euro style. Um, not so much uh, like I could write a letter and say, hey, to, to do this challenge, you have to pick Euro style, but it'd be cool to do some sort of mechanism that it, it won't physically, you can't physically pick it in this orientation with the, with the, with the Bible facing up. Um, I want them to pick it this direction, but at the same time, I want it to the key to work in either direction. So that's kind of a, a thought experiment that I have to figure out. Um, with that being said, I want to magnetize these steel pins north and south. Um, so someone will be north facing and someone will be south facing. And what I'm thinking about doing is maybe embedding some more magnets in the key or possibly either magnets or pieces of metal that the magnet would be attracted to. I haven't decided yet. Probably magnet would be the better way to do it. Um, so that's one thing I'm thinking about doing. But um, with that being said, I would probably cut down these springs just a little bit 
my putting like uh, maybe I put a magnet in these chambers between the pin and the Bible pin possibly but that would create another shear line so or I would take these brass pins here convert them to steel and put the magnets at the top and leave the springs brass that might be the better way to do it uh, you can get pretty small magnets the other idea I had was I want to possibly mill out this a channel in here to give me access to these oh come on I need to get a light there we go give me access to the Bible chambers instead of grinding down the top I think that looks tacky and I also have the actual hardware to mount this I may actually physically mount this upside down like in a piece of wood or something I have the bolt to do it um might even I'm, I have a lock job where I might even be able to get the actual deadbolt to go with this too that might be kind of cool um but yeah so I'm thinking about milling out a chamber here and then what I would want to do would be thread some of these chambers or counter mill them in the Bible. I don't necessarily think I want to do any modifications to the core. And the reason being is that um, if they're going to pick it European style. The keyway is going to be like this. And so even if you put threading and stuff in the Bible here, it might be it might be effective. I don't know. Let me guys let me know guys in the comments below if you think it would still be effective if I countermilled and threaded the Bible in this or or the plug in this orientation. I know it's it's effective in this orientation because things like to fall down, but in the European orientation, the way I'm thinking about doing it is the pins are more likely to fall into the Bible out of the plug but still be caught in the plug. Not It's not going to be like fully into the Bible. Um, so that's an idea that I had. I got to think about some pin designs. Obviously, you know, the standards of spools and serrations. I've never done uh, rattlesnakes or anything like that. So that would be something to kind of look into. Let me know what kind of cool pin designs might be interesting to play into the magnetic idea. Um, the other idea that I had specifically was for these, and I got this idea from my goal seven, is that these anti-drill pins go in this chamber here, right? And they sit pretty flush in there. But what I was thinking is they pretty freely float in and out. If I put a spring in there, it would probably stick up about like that much. And then what I was thinking about doing was I measured it out it would it would take I would drill a diagonal hole probably about like right here into the plug and so what what the spring would do is it would push that anti-drill pin into that hole and so to start the picking you would need to depress these pins but you know it doesn't sound very difficult but when you have spools like this that you got to provide counter rotation on you can very easily, because of the spring tension, those uh, pins could pop right back into that chamber and then you drop everything. That's similar to how the Goal 7 works with those ball bearings, is they're constantly pushing into the sidewall where the hole is and while you're floating. And if you let go of tension just a little bit too much, they'll, they'll shink into that, into that hole and you'll drop everything. So that might be something to kind of look at as well. So that's kind of all the ideas that I have right now. Uh, I'm really interested to hear what you guys think. Um, leave some comments down below, some ideas to make this kind of difficult. And um, like I said, play on the idea of magnets. That's kind of the theme I want to go for for this challenge lock. So thank you all so much for watching. I look forward to hearing back from you guys.